In this video, you'll learn the differences between affordable and more basic appliances. Should you spend more? In some cases, you may not want to. We'll tell you the features and price differences of each appliance in your kitchen, the refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, and finally the hood as well. Stay to the end, and I'll tell you how to make that basic or affordable luxury kitchen even more affordable as well. And I'll include some design tips and hacks throughout the video to make your kitchen look the best at any price. Refrigerators and stoves are the most important, so let's start with refrigeration because they have the most variations. For affordable luxury, the refrigerator choice is counter depth. It's called counter depth because the refrigerator is covered by the cabinet, so it's nice to not seeing the black textured sides, especially if the refrigerator is more central in your kitchen. Typically, the most popular counter depth is the French door, and there's so many adaptations the traditional three door, door with drawer, four doors, to the best models with Insta View windows and computer screens. Our counter depth starts at about $1,500. You know, you'll learn how to get it cheaper later and can escalate to almost $5,000 depending on the features. Basic style refrigerators can be top mount freezer, bottom mount freezer, or side by side doors, even French door with the freezer on the bottom. If a counter depth, the size is almost always 36 inches wide. For a standard refrigerator, you can buy a 30, 33, or 36 inch size. Prices fluctuate between $799 and $1,500 for a top mount or standard depth. French door. The better refrigerators now have two evaporators to keep the air of the fridge and freezer separate rather than one transferring air to both. After that, decisions become about size and features. Now, counter depth is better aesthetic, but it becomes less important the farther away it is in your kitchen. You can also buy a bigger standard depth for less money. Just put it at the end of your cabinet run so it won't be as noticeable, and you can build an enclosure out to make it look counter depth. For affordable luxury, the front controller sliding range is the cooking product of choice. With the controls in the front, you can see your backsplash without the back guard of a freestanding range ruining the look. After that, you pay for features like a fifth griddle burner on the top, or even a sixth burner and gas if you go with the cafe range. And electric, you'll pay more for the faster and more responsive magnetic induction as well. In gas, the front burners tend to be hotter up to 21,000 BTU. Slide-ins all have convection fan force heat to keep a more even temperature in your oven for especially better baking. However, you also have different configurations with warming drawers instead of a storage drawer. Warmers keep food warm up to three hours without dehydrating your food like a microwave. You also buy double oven ranges from Cafe, Samsung, and KitchenAid. So you can cook two different items in two distinct ovens. Good slide-in ranges will cost you 1,500 to 4,000 depending on the features. Again, I'll show you how to get a better price later in the video. Basic. Freestanding ranges have improved considerably since I started in 1986. You can buy freestanding gas with two power burners rated at 15,000 BTU plus along with convection for less than $1,000 with similar prices for an electric range. You have a back guard and fewer upgraded features, but you're saving at least $500 more. A good basic dishwasher like this Beko is a stainless steel interior with all the basic cycles you use with a decent quietness rating at 48 decibels. It will cost about $599. Most of the lesser expensive dishwashers use condensation to dry, using the heat and steam from the wash to dry the dishes. It does an okay job on plates, but it's not as good on less dense items like plastic. You can buy even cheaper, but you'll have a much louder dishwasher with a plastic tub, which tends to retain odors. Unlike stainless, you'll save $100, $150. Now let's say you don't want to hear your dishwasher if your kitchen is close to your living space, you want to look for a 44 decibel quietness rating. Those dishwashers will start typically at $899. They also tend to have better racking as well with an adjustable top rack and more cycles. Some of the features you might want to consider are better washing with better sprays like Miele, KitchenAid, and Beko. LG adds steam in their dishwasher to prevent spotting and powered stains. Bosch's door will pop open to eliminate excess heat and steam. Those dishwashers will typically cost around $1,000. If you want way better drying, Profile, Bosch, and Miele have the best drying system either introducing outside air into or out of the dishwasher. Bosch's Crystal Dry uses volcanic elements to emit heat and absorb moisture, and it works the best, as crazy as it sounds. They cost $1,100 to $1,400 versus $599 for a basic dishwasher. In this case, the vents are unfortunately equal. When you look at four-piece kitchen packages, they all feature the over-the-range microwave vent combinations. Although it's convenient and inexpensive at around $250 to 400 
The vent part doesn't work properly, especially if you like to cook. We cover why exclusively in other videos, but briefly, it doesn't cover the front burners and have adequate exhaust, so the odors and fumes from whatever you cook will stay in your house. I should know, I have one in my apartment. For either, you should buy a hood with 23 inches in depth to cover those front burners and with CFM of 400 to 600, depending on how you cook. Now let's save some money. From 2000 to the middle of 2020, you bought at what was available almost at any price. However, prices pre-pandemic were discounted as much as 10 to 35% around holidays. And moving forward, you'll see some bigger discounts around President's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, July 4th, and Black Friday. So time that as best as you can. You should also buy from the same manufacturer possible to maximize any rebates. You'll save or spend at least $1,500 and up to $5,000, depending on the options you pick. That said, you can buy different elements and have both basic and better appliances in your kitchen, whether you want a quiet dishwasher or a faster induction or gas slide in range or a counter depth refrigerator. It's your kitchen. Buy what you'll use and enjoy. And if you want to see all your options for affordable luxury brands, then click this video and thanks for watching.